And this is the. Oh. This is Blue Caster Shida Zazil and Yellow Caster Autogar. Say hi. Hey. Coming at you from Cineplex Cinemas at Islington and Queensway in Toronto. The day is finally upon us. It is March 23rd, and a day sooner than we thought we were going to be. We are finally seeing the Power Rangers movie. Yeah, it'd be, it'd like, be great if they had a poster for it up on the outside. No, but we got the movie for Tom Hanks. It's Tom Hanks. The Cycle. Food. Apparently, Mr. Pinkcaster Lightroom has already beaten us here, but who cares? We're all here to have fun. Almost all of the main Cast Ranger crew, and then some, is going to be here tonight. Man, it's like an anniversary event. Wait, Wait so isn't it March? Did we forget something? Shit, we missed the Cast Ranger anniversary. Oh. oh well, this will sort of serve as our anniversary celebration. More from later. Hi, Pinkcaster. What's up? Oh, there's a giant Nintendo Switch display. I just want to push yeah, the buttons. It's, it's a non-functioning display. Touch screen's broken. Lame. <laughs> Available March 3rd. That's a day before the Cast Ranger anniversary. Oh, oh shit. What day is it today? March 23rd. Damn it. We missed the Cast Ranger anniversary. Damn it. Hi. This will have to be our Cast Ranger anniversary project then. Yeah, I don't have anything pink on me, so... Really? No, I, 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 I Everyone else is gonna. I came here from work. You should have brought something with you. I didn't think I was gonna come here from work. Then why did you come here from work? So I didn't waste your guys' time waiting for me or something? Fine, today you're light red caster. Sure, well, <laughs> I'm, I'm other green caster. So. Sure, whatever. We'll have to count your skin as pink. E edit me pink in post. I don't know. <laughs> Done. Here you go. It's so there's like no line for the movie. It's not, and it's like pre-opening day. I'm kind of disappointed. Eh. If we came here Friday night, oh, this place would be packed. Yeah, so packed. All right, I guess we lucked out then. Yep. Hey guys, it's Billy Cranston here. Here at the premiere for the Power Rangers movie. Oh my God, it's gonna be more phenomenal. Yeah. By the way, I'm autistic. Did you know that? Yeah. Woo! You just said more phenomenal. Yeah. I don't know, whatever. It's more phenomenal. You're more phenomenal. <laughs> Alpha numeric. Ah! Yeah, I'm really excited for Billy. He's autistic in the movie. It's gonna be fucking awesome. Yes, I'm very excited also. Yep. Ah! I'm, I'm just impressed that thing can stand on its own. I know. I was thinking about getting the Alpha plushie for Emily, but then I was like, no, I've spent enough money already. I don't need more. Blue Diamond confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It's a cute little... I'm going to have him uh, on my display. I'm going to have him uh, uh, sitting on my Zord. My Triceratops. Zord. My Zord? My Zord. I'll get my Zord for you, Danny. You better be alive. <laughs> That's what Cell wants. He's like, they better be like living things. And if they're not, don't bring me anymore, right? Don't bring me anymore, right? There's Gar in the back. Gar. Yep. Nothing new. All right, more later. Nailed it. So less than an hour left. Gar Yellowcaster is holding our spot in the line that's slowly forming. It's starting to get a little busy. The others are on their way here. Yep. We're excited. Yep. Hype level is at Zenkai. So excited. Billy's gonna be amazing in the movie. All right, it's time to go watch the movie. We're in the theater waiting for the other casters. Lane and Gar are here. We just finished the movie and it was awesome! We're gonna do a formal review video type thing, but yeah, we saw it and it was good. Did you guys notice my nose? Because, like, oh, these are shorts. They're based off dinosaurs. <laughs> he said dinosaurs. Okay, more. We're live! Zenkai Gun! Connect. Loading. Broadcast. Watching all the anime. Webcaster. Show radio. Equipment Wheeler, Blue Caster, Cheetah Zazil, Loyal and Lack, Pink Caster, Light Red! Next 
roar from the unknown. Yellow caster, auto guard. Trauma inducer, dwarf caster, stop it. One little spark of courage. Dream caster, global self perka. Cube caster, not afraid to speak their mind. Sign caster, Arcadia. Broadcasting loud and opinionated perspectives across the internet. Radio Sentai Cast Ranger. On air! Yeah, of course it is. Oh, hello. <laughs> that was being That was being gar recorded. Stop it. Sit the fuck down. How are these people watching us? I'm sick of your shit already. I'll be right back. Just need a piss. That's on now we can start the video. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everybody to a review of the Power Rangers movie. I am Pink Caster. Welcome to Caster Ranger Reacts. <laughs> <laughs> much, much delayed. Welcome one and all to a very special episode of Cast Ranger Reacts. Yeah! Kind of. Oh. Eh? We all just saw the Power Rangers movie. We Yay. did! We Power did! Thank you guys for inviting me to see the room. Oh, we love yeah. having you. Oh, <laughs> why, why, don't we, why don't you all go around? Because most people only know us by voice. Yeah. Why don't you, everyone... Time, if you haven't seen our previous react video, it's time to match the voice to the face! I am Blue Caster, she is Azil. I'm Pink Caster Lightshirt, hello. I'm... Uh, Oh, hi, I'm Otto Guy. I'm Otto Guy. Yellowcaster. <laughs> That's I'm, kind of I'm Arcadia Signcaster, and with me is Indigo Caster. Red you're, caster. you're a Zor <laughs> Raven. <laughs> yes, I am a Zor because I'm carrying a human. Uh, we don't know who you are, Jason Bayate RX, but thank you for liking our uh, Cast Ranger Facebook page. Yay! <laughs> oh, um, I'm Dreamcaster. Thank you for having me. What's up? I'm Northcaster, and as you can see, we have a very special guest today. It's Bumblebee from the Transformers series. We're so glad that you could just... Hold on. Hello. Oh, it's Paramount. Whoa. A what? Oh, we don't own the rights to Bumblebee. He can't be in the review. Okay, I understand. Sorry, Bumblebee. Bumblebee, no! So we just saw Power Rangers, <laughs> and that's pretty much what it was like, for Gar at least. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. It was his Zord! Let me hold you with my bare hands. <laughs> Including the bare hands. Let's all have a that's moment a pun. of silence. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a moment of silence for Bumblebee. Alright, and it's over. <laughs> yep. Thank you so much. He lives! No, he doesn't. Anyway. I did. He did. Oh, okay. But he said it like Raven, so very quiet. Okay. okay. Just red cast it to the Raven. <laughs> okay. You are the silent protagonist. Right? Yes. So yeah, we saw the fucking Power Rangers movie. Was it great? Fucking yes, it was. I mean, oh my god. I mean, uh, like you know, Peter, like uh, Freeman as Ivan Ooze. Are you kidding? <laughs> And, and the, the tech, the ectomorphicon titans, and, you know, oh, we're talking about 2017. That crotch right. shot to him with the Megazord. Wait, that wait, actually happened? <laughs> wait, we're talking about the new movie? I thought we were talking about Turbo. No. no. It's episode 200. Or are we talking about Clash of the Red Rangers, Don't which wasn't a real movie? movie. <laughs> or are we talking about Legendary Battle? No, we're talking about Power Slash Rangers. Oh. oh. That movie sucked. A little bit. I liked it. I think it was okay. Anyways. Yeah. Power Rangers 2017, as directed by Dean Israelite. Damn, that name is awesome. Yeah. Isn't that is he, is he is the guy who directed Chronicle? No. no. He directed, uh, what did he direct? Project Almanac, I think. Right. Yes. yes. Right. I remember from However, the guy who wrote uh, Power Rangers 2017, at least one of the ten writers this thing had, was Max Landis, who wrote Chronicle. Max, call me. We'll both go on Red Letter Media sometime. <laughs> cool. Love your hair, bro. Alright, so I think we should talk about first our impressions of the characters before the rest of the whole Ranger stuff can I, can I Can I say something? I was probably, maybe Raven too, was probably the most skeptic going into this. Oh, yeah. I wasn't expecting it to be terrible, but I wasn't expecting it to be good either. And I don't mean good in the sense of like, oh, this is... I wasn't expecting Lawrence of Arabia. I, I've been saying since day one, I just want this movie to be fun. Right? But here's what I wasn't expecting. Before I, before we proceed any further, if you haven't seen the movie yet, now is your spoiler warning. We are going to be talking about the movie and what happens in it. So if you haven't seen the movie yet and want to avoid spoilers, pause the video now. Yeah. Or just turn it off and come back later. 
Make sure you watch the ads first, though. Thanks for the view, though. Go fucking see this movie! <laughs> anyway, what I was saying was, I actually found myself liking these characters a lot. Yeah. I, I have to admit, the actors playing these guys were, they were not bland. That's no. what I was worried about the most. Exactly. They yeah, were going to be bland. Was worried about. And like, no, and like, I was worried more about like, oh, are they really going to go with like teenage stereotypes? And they're there a little, but... They, they, they were believable. Exactly. These characters, these characters really flowed off each other. Yeah. Unlike, yeah. unlike the original, these characters were more, uh, a lot more relatable. Yeah. Absolutely. Exactly. They weren't goody two shoes. Uh, who, as, as, who worked? Who worked at the, the youth center and and hung out at the juice bar and taught kids karate. But yeah, yeah. they're very relatable, especially. No, the camera can't see that, right? <laughs> especially to me, because I'm gonna go into this right now. So they said that uh, Billy Cranston in the movie, he's uh, autistic. So... Oh boy, was he. Yeah, so... I like how they had to say it without saying it, though. We'll stop talking about that no, in a minute. Said it. No, no, he says I'm on the spectrum. Yeah, and that's like the that's technical the term. It's called the that's... autism spectrum yeah. disorder. Autistic spectrum disorder. Yeah, so yeah. He, he has Asperger's syndrome. He's exactly like me. It was... It was literally like looking in a fucking mirror, like, a yeah, very, uh, no, admittedly, what, listening to Billy talk was like listening to you talk a lot. Yeah, because like, it, it was yeah. just like, oh wow, yeah. Because he's like, he's trying, because he's doing like what I do, like Jason was walking away and he was trying to explain himself about like, and stuff, Sound, and, and that's exactly what I do. Sounded exactly like you, except the only he had important stuff to say. <laughs> He did. But, and, <laughs> but no, honestly, like, it means so much that, like, we got a character like this, and uh, it's so relatable, and he's a fucking Power Ranger! Like, an autistic person is a Power Ranger! And he was the first one to morph! Yeah, yeah he was the first one to fucking morph, and the best part is, the color of aut uh, that represents autism is blue. It's a blue puzzle piece. So, that's, like... That's, you could say it's a perfect So, puzzle. like, yeah. So, Sorry. way to... Way to Fucking go! Like he was my favorite character the entire movie. I think the thing with uh, with me that I much appreciated is uh, they of course have the two female characters, but like you don't have the like uh, martial arts um, chick, and you don't have the girly girly. It's like almost like kind of. They were sort of halfway both. They yeah, yeah it's like they were half halfway. Uh, wait, both and... They were both badass. Yeah, one was like, like Trini was like, I, I don't want to be normal. Like, I want to just be my own person and not have to be judged by anyone. And Kim was just like, and eh, you know what? I feel like I'm a bad person. Well, Speaking of yellow, cool down. Gar, can you turn your chair a bit? Like, I'm just seeing just your head. Like yeah. taking up the frame. There you go, bud. Well, the other thing I was gonna I was gonna say is, uh, in the original, cool. I only related to like one of the girls, but now it's like I relate to like both little bits of uh, Trini's personality, but also. Um, Kimberly's, and also it being a small town and me being from like Cape Breton, I understand exactly where they're coming from from one and two, uh, one and two like es escape like the boring the boringness. Mind you, if some of the things they did, I got to do in Cape Breton, I wouldn't have left there. <laughs> Can I, power? Oh, quick thing, and I, I never realized like, this from the trailers. Rock, rock climbing, jump, jumping across like uh, Canyons. Great Canyons. <laughs> Yeah, we like, never had anything like that during the during the scene. Oh, uh, let's all get... like speaking of Kimberly though. Holy hell, Naomi Scott looks just like uh, Amy, Amy... Jamie Jo Johnson. Yeah, Amy yeah. Jo I did like, notice she good had a god, and she kind of sounded like her. Like especially after she cut her hair, I I, I noticed that when they were like, like looking in, the, in a tiny mirror, when they when she was like screaming when they were in the Zords, she sounded a lot like Amy Jo Johnson. Yeah, she had that like woo, it was jarring. And then also to the point that like when um, when Raven pointed out. Amy Jo Johnson at the end, I was like, I don't recognize her. Yeah, well, go ahead. And, yeah, <laughs> honestly, to me, yeah. she just looks like she's never aged. Today. Jason, Jason, David, Frank, and Amy Jo Johnson are in a crowd of. And they take out their phone. Is that the movie? very end of the movie? Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. oh hey, crowd shot. Oh hey, look there. <laughs> but no, like the scene where like they're all like testing out like their uh, civilian abilities or whatever, and like they jump over the chasm and they like try to get Billy. Like Billy's the last one to go over, but like he's. And he's like stalling. He's like, no, I, I can't freaking do this. And like, they're encouraging him and really stuff. And, and they like, yeah. And they recognize that like he is and autistic. He, and, he, and, and they're trying he's to like sing back and forth, trying to decide whether he needs no. their friendship. And I'm just, <laughs> no, and I'm thinking of no, I'm thinking about the, like this. And I'm like, no, that'd be exactly be me. Like, if you guys all jumped over a fucking chasm, and if everybody like, jumped off a bridge, would you? No. And then, this movie says yes. Yeah. No, that, no, that would be really. Like, be, and I, you will fall. I'd be in Billy's situation. I'd be like, I'd be like mm, I don't think so. Like, eh. and then like yeah like uh, he was trying to talk to Jason whatever and like yeah I don't get jokes and like sarcasm as well <laughs> fuck that's, you that's what happened in the movie <laughs> oh my god 
Like, no, no, this is what happened. I was like, no, he fell backwards. He did. <laughs> it. No, I, I, I don't do that. Stop presenting facts. I just love, like, as they're, like, jumping into the canyon, I just start singing, action boy! Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. That was um, terrible. But, oh, guys, man. there still lies one plot point that never went answered. What? Why did Rita eat a necklace? Because why not? <laughs> that was one of them. I when, when you're, when you're I trapped to... underneath the ocean for 65 million years, you do fucking anything. I have no I way... that was actually what you were going to say. I have no <laughs> way of confirming this or denying this. I, get, I have the feeling that wasn't in the script and Elizabeth Banks just went with it. <laughs> yeah, you know really what? I wanted to eat a necklace. What? Like, there's like, okay, Elizabeth, uh, so you're crazy, you just woke up, you want gold, you want it so bad. And you no want it so bad, you can taste no, it. Here's the and th she took that too far. Yeah. No, knowing what I know about Elizabeth Banks and how like she is like she's like me, she has a dirty mind apparently. Like she's just one of those people. I would like I'm sure there's takes of her going like this. Ugh, with the gold. So she You want it so bad, you want it inside of you. Okay. Not like that! The other thing I see is in some Sorry, just before we move on, what I was going to say about the unsolved plot point is the sink in Jason's bathroom. No one ever found out that it was broken. His father never questioned also, it. Also, no one of Trini's family, like, heard yeah. Yeah. Rita, like, throwing her around the I bedroom. I was saying to Gar yeah. during the movie. Okay, but it's I, just like, like, after the scene of Rita and Trini fighting a little bit in Trini's bedroom, I'm just like, and no one in the house woke up. Can we just make like, the thing. I wrote that off. I thought that was just, like, an illusionary thing that she was yeah, doing. Like, no. But then you see her at the end of the movie fixing her bedroom, and I'm like, yeah, oh, I guess that did happen. There was, being, you know, which I, I thought that was a nice little added point at the end of it, yeah. where it's just like, every, this is what everyone else is doing, and then you just cut to Trini's bedroom, drywall repair. Yeah. <laughs> so, so basically Trini had uh, someone, uh, someone throwing her around in her room, and it's not the way she wanted it to be. Uh, yeah, that seems. I don't know. Like she was a woman. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so Trini, Trini is a lesbian. So she's implied, Blaine. It, it's they that, never it's, just, it's, like, it's like with Billy. They said it without saying it. They, yeah. it, they pretty much. There is no question in my head that is where they went with that. Considering Zach brought up the point, she didn't say no, and then immediately launched into a. I can't tell my. I just can't bring myself to admit to my parents how I am. I also feel like that was as much as they could do in this movie. With because they didn't actually outright confirm yeah, it in no, any way, shape, no, or form. Because then the movie would have been banned. Because it. then the movie would have been banned in Malaysia. Oh my God! Is that Topical. Why? Is that why? Probably. That's uh, probably right. exactly why. Okay. Well, and you know what? I mean, like, you know what? Like, that's fine. Like all those countries Malaysia banning the Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. yeah, for the gay scene. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, well, there's nothing wrong with uh, a, a beast and a human getting together, but right? two yeah. men? Yeah, yeah I was like, That's everyone's worried about the gay scene, but everyone's okay with a woman fucking a buffalo. <laughs> He's a human, you're a mermaid! Daddy, I love him! <laughs> well, I was like, I just forbidden! I gotta, I gotta say, they pro like I said, they probably did it as much as they could just because, like, okay, guys, this is our first movie. We can't, like, we need all the money we can get for this. Let, let's not, let's not, let's not, not right off the bat, like, cause a controversy. Yeah, let's not scare the children. Oh, wait, Sailor Moon did that. Right? Cousin. She was actually really <laughs> Cousin. Hey, man. Yeah. Cousin loving. God damn Anyways, it. let's so, talk about the movie. I, I guess think the plot a little? Yeah. Well, we were still talking about the characters. Oh, okay. So, my, my so, thing, we talked, you know how we talked were, about yeah. Trini. You know how what you guys were saying earlier is like the characters just seemed to flow nice off of each other and they didn't seem to be flat. Rita, I think she conversely, was pretty. Conversely, yeah. no. Especially after not a lot. Like, not, like, yeah. Like, well, no, that was like she's waking up. She's just not quite into it. She's like very. There's a thing. Like Elizabeth Banks, but oh, I was sure. really expected a lot yes. more. The movie wasn't about her as much as the yeah. objective of the movie was kill her, but they kind of went in a different direction with her, which I both love and hate at the same time. Yeah. They, they turned her into a living jump scare. Yeah, they actually. She was, well, there was really one scary of those. In those. There was a few of them. Yeah. Actually, I don't know if it's just me, but when she first wakes up and starts coming back to life, as soon as I saw it and like how she was, I'm like, okay, this is gonna be a repeat of Cara Del Delevingne. Uh, in Suicide Squad and her as an Enchantress. Like, I, saw that, I'm like, I oh, did my, get that vibe She did look like yeah. the Enchantress. I was oh like, it's a freaking Banshee. I'm like, oh god, this is gonna, it's going to be that again. But no, I wasn't I wasn't disappointed. Yeah, she was a lot better. Oh god, god. She did evolve. It makes sense that yeah. the Enchantress is the daughter of Rita Repulsa. Of course. It makes sense, yeah. And then when she was fully, if, if I may say, yep. when she was fully formed, she just went from scary to the hammiest thing ever, and it was great. Right. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Elizabeth Banks, God, I love her. Yep. She was having the time of her life. Gar, you were going to say something. 
Though I gotta I say, remember. yeah. Though I've gotta say sorry, one thing sorry. about that. I think the like the the worst line read in the entire movie came out of her mouth. Yes. And wait, 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 wait. The worst line came from Rita, right? What? I mean, the worst line read <laughs> came from Rita, right? What? Which one? Which make my one? monster grow? That was my monster that was no, great. There was zero emotion in that line. She literally just said, "Make my monster grow." Like, you monster. know what? I will. I will give that a pass because I was. I was going to talk about this later, but I think this movie struck a perfect balance between modernizing yeah. and. I, I, I have to say, actually, that was something I know. Okay, and the entire movie, I was just like, "Oh, don't, please don't say it." And like every time, and like I, as I realized, oh shit, the movie's like her character arc is almost over here. Like Rita, I'm like, oh, please don't say it. Please don't say it. The part where she gets launched, I'm like, oh, she didn't say it. I have a headache. Yeah. <laughs> like, thank God she didn't say right. it. You know, even I have to agree that would have been forced. Yes. Right? That's why I'm saying it struck a perfect balance. There was a good chord there. Um, this movie did do a little bit of a, a problem, and I'm going to attribute this more to budget than anything else. Well, before we talk about problems, let's finish talking about the characters. Oh, okay, yeah, sorry. We, yeah. Did, we, did, uh, we did Billy, we did Trini. Uh, Zach, can we, can let's, we, talk, let's talk Zach. Zach was fun. Zach, I'm going to say, had the least character, though, out of all no, of them. No, Jason had the least I would, character. I, would, I, disagree. I would kind of balance them. I did I did like what they did with Zach. It was kind of hard to pick it, figure out at first, but like... Yeah. He was like the, yeah, fucking let's do this shit. Yeah, Zach was like a free fucking spirit. Nice. Let's do Zach, this. Yeah, exactly. I'm not saying he was bad. I'm just saying he, out of all the main characters, he had like the least to do. You know? And I understand. There's five of them. When he, was he, ex when he was explaining about his situation with his mom around the campfire, nice. I teared up. Yeah, was I, was nice. like, oh. I was like, oh, you poor I thing. Him. I liked how he was the impulsive one. Yeah. Are yeah. you crazy? That's, that's exactly yes. what it is. Mm -hmm. He grabs the mask. Also, the also when like they first see their Zords, I liked, I loved that Billy just was the one who just went, Whoa! What? Three robotic fucking dinosaur animal thingies! Zach's quote from the movie. No, it isn't. <laughs> uh, no, then, uh, as well, we, Kimberly, you know, she. I liked her in this. Usually I don't like Kimberly too much. I, I, I like what they did. They they, po they poised her, or posited her as uh, a former socialite who had fallen from grace, and she pulled the garnet maneuver by cutting her hair to symbolize that. That was great. I, I really liked it. Like, oh god, she's just cutting her hair, isn't she? That's awesome. I. I also, I'm, I don't want to actually spoil this here because this is actually a pretty moving scene in the movie, but good god, I, like, I mean, it's all, again, all implied, but when you found out what she did, oh, yeah. oh wow, that's something else. I'm, I'm surprised they put that in the movie. I'll tell you later, and then we'll have the talk. I'll tell you when you're older. Man, okay. When man and I'm older now. Love each other very much. They don't have to love each other. Jason was the leader. You know, and he had the like sort of the thing to prove. You know, I, I, you know what? And there was actually good visual storytelling here. They didn't just come out and say because it would have been so easy for them to have done this. And I'm actually surprised they didn't in this kind of movie. The part where like the dad is talking about, you know, you threw it all away, sort of thing. Da da da. I know you're. He could have easily said, I know you hurt your knee, but did you have to throw everything away? Yeah. Right. No. They just. Oh, he's got a brace on his knee. His glory days are over. He can't. That's why he's acting out. Yeah. I could have done without the cow masturbation joke, but. The first joke in the whole Oh god, movie. yeah, with the cat. Wow. Was like, at first, I was like, I, I was like, like, oh shit. I was like, no. This movie yeah, is I later, later, guard, did you notice that about me? Like, when that happened, I'm like, oh, this is the movie, huh? Yeah. This is what we're doing, huh? Yeah, I'm so funny. glad that was it can't not. Get any worse. Indicative of the tone. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I like, accent, I like the, accent on Dick. I like the cool camera shot during the chase scene in the truck. It was actually, I was gonna say, there's some nice camera work in this movie. I put a GoPro on the dashboard and the car flipped a few I, times. I. <laughs> <laughs> like, w during the end of that part was fine, but the whole leading up to it with the rotating thing kind of made me sick. Yeah. It was like Cloverfield. Right. Oh, I love Cloverfield. I love Cloverfield as well. I, I really didn't like that it's whole third spinning movie. thing with the, inside Bird. the truck. Yeah, um, Cloverfield. Like, if I can continue on this, oh, right. as I was saying, if we're talking about Jason, the thing I didn't like is, uh, with him being a leader, um, I actually consider, unlike, um, other Power Rangers, I actually consider him to be a true leader because he's not someone who just, you know, big muscles all of a sudden is like, okay, sit down, shut up, I'm the leader now. It. He also had a journey, he had a journey himself of having to get to that stage. Oh, and can I just say, thank you for not making his whole thing, I don't think I can be the leader, man, I'm not, I'm not good enough. It could have been so easy to do it. could have been so easy. I, this, yeah. movie, this movie is almost like the definition of the road less traveled. Yeah. While still being on the safest road possible. On the possible. scale of Jason to uh, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, like, <laughs> I mean, yes, both roads tend, I, end up going the same way, but this one just isn't paved. I saw, I saw Moore as being on the fence, like, he knows he has it in, 
in him, but then he's like screwed up so many times. So it's like, I can do it, but I can't, can't do it. So that is like, is that inner battle like he had with him, himself be, that he had to deal with before he could like get them all in line and. Well, yeah, like, I, I, I like around how around the campfire they at least like flat out just admitted one thing. <laughs> They're all going around and telling like. Their stories and and, and Jason's like you all know who I am and, and, yeah. and they're like yeah these are what characters we are this is what we're like you and all get, saw my house. They, they get the Jason not everybody knows who I am yeah, like, yeah Jason goes over to Billy's, that the start Jay, of the Jason goes over to Billy's house and like Billy's mom opens door and is like you're Jason Scott no, no, <laughs> that was no, actually a local but, celebrity no, no, but the yeah. joke doesn't work like when you explain it that way it works because on his way to Billy's. One of the females that see him is like, is that Jason Scott? And then his mom, you're Jason Scott. Like It's, it's again, that's visual storytelling where it's just like, yeah. oh, hey, look, he's a popular guy around town. He's like, the best he quarterback in the Oh, my God, I'm also so bad. And I'm sure, again. Sorry, just before you move on. I, I re with regards to Jason, I really enjoyed how they posited him as a former jock who fell from grace, didn't have the persona of a jock at all. And then when he was given a new opportunity, he just took charge and went, Yep, this is my team. We're fucking doing this, guys. Actually, so he's Troy from Community. Before you yeah. say anything, I just remember something. Um, I remember. It always reminds me of uh, the Power Rangers uh, series where the Yellow Ranger, I think, was that uh, rich girl who like screwed up her life. RPM. And then, RPM. Yeah, RPM. It's like all those characters yeah. were, the same, were the same way. It's like they all were like uh, the big shots and big shots or... Different, different, per, uh, different personalities. Yeah. Screws up, goes to the bottom, and then gets themselves back up. But it's like more modernized. Yeah, exactly. Well, it can't really be modernized when it was only like five years ago. Was it like five years? <laughs> Uh, I was gonna say though, I, I was also so glad it would have been so easy for them to have just done this. I'm sure it was in an earlier script and before they said no, let, let's not make this dumb. Where they were just like, you guys know how I lost, right? I threw that ball, man. I, I missed on purpose. <laughs> no. I'm so glad they didn't. The laces were in. They were in. They surprisingly downplayed the whole him being a superstar jock. Aspect. No, yeah, again, like because you know he's still got to be likable, right? But like he's walking down the hallway, or whatever, to go to the detention. Then like you hear like like in his head like the commentator go, "Oh, Jason, he's going!" And then you see like the trophy case yeah. of like his I, I think that was, glory. I think that was perfectly subtle. Yeah. Then he broke he broke one of his football trophies. Yeah. He was just like, you, "Fuck but you!" Also oh, no. I, I, I know they're plastic, so you could. I just love how easily they're. Like, <laughs> Yeah. They don't cost that much. Like, almost like, almost like you almost didn't mean to do. Oh shit! <laughs> that, was <before laughs> that was totally because I'm super strong and not because it's made of shit. Yeah, right. Uh, let's talk about the greatest characters ever. Zoran and Alpha. I was gonna say Bulk and Skull, but they're not in this fucking movie. Yeah. Instead, we get some orange-handed asshole. No, but I, I find. Boom. Close enough. I find instead of like two care, uh, like Bulk and Skull, I find the. Uh, the idiot with the orange, orange hair, whatever his name was. I feel like they. Right, have a name. I don't think they actually. He was actually credited as like, bully. Think, really? Oh yes. my gosh! They were I feel like um like instead of having bulk and and skull as two separate people, I feel like they made this bully to I, be like. The stand-in? Uh, I disagree. Not stand-in, but like a little bit of both of them. I disagree yeah. because he, yeah. like bulk and skull, yeah, they were the bullies, but they were never. Bullies. They were just kind of like they were idiots. They were dumbasses, and but they were they were good people. And also, I, I, sure, just straight up, I think they realize, guys, this isn't about Bulk and Skull. They yeah, they would just yeah. As, the movie would come to a halt as, if they were in the movie. As much as I probably might have enjoyed seeing them, they definitely wouldn't have fit in this movie's atmosphere. No, exactly. and you know what? I, mean, I hate admitting that. I hate admitting that the adult decision was correct. And besides, we already got the real life Balkan skull right here. They might show up. Ah! Be the small. Uh, so yeah, uh, Zordon and Alpha. Uh, a surprising Z amount of depth. Yes. Zordon had a flaw. Yeah. Zordon had a character flaw. So okay, just the, the the opening of this movie, which takes place in the Cenozoic era. When ooh. is that? It's like literally six five million okay. years ago. Ice, like the last age of the. Dinosaurs. I saw you oh, kind of oh. get up in your seat, but you're like. Oh, hmm. So I was like, oh, oh. My inner scientist. You got my attention, movie. You have my attention, movie. And then cow happened. They're like, oh. I don't know. They could have just said dinosaur era. Why is that in the cow Because, like, when the, when the flashback was this. fading out, like, I could just hear, like, a, uh, uh, and then just, and I was like, what? So, that was and the most it, awkward transition in the whole movie. I thought, were the coins moving? <laughs> so, 
Anyway, yeah, 65 million years ago, Zordon and the other rangers, because, yes, Zordon was the Red Ranger in this, yes, Scar. 65 million years ago, since Monday. Yes, yeah, it was a Monday. <laughs> it was a Monday. Uh, 65 million years ago, there was a battle for, I guess, the coins? They, did they ever explain oh, that? The yeah, was no, no, she was looking crystal. for the crystals. That was it? Yeah, crystal. it was the oh, the Zeo. I'm sorry. It was yeah. to protect the Zeo. Oh, yeah, the Zeo crystals in this. <laughs> because set up, because set up for future movies. Exactly. Oh, and so actually, I liked what they said. The Zeo crystal, like I guess they're going with the Infinity Stone logic on this one. Like before time itself existed, the Infinity Stone, the, the oh, Zeo yeah, crystal yeah. was shattered by I'm guessing the Big Bang and like flung across the cosmos. And any time one of those shards hit a planet, life would grow from that planet. So Zeo crystal is God. Right? And the crystal in this movie on Earth is the green Zeo crystal. And apparently it can be used to both create and destroy That's anything. So, so Rita, who was the Green Ranger... Like, we see her in full armor you see in her the in first armor. scene of the movie! Yeah! It's amazing! Uh, she wanted to find it, so she went to Earth and through some means she destroyed everything. She killed... she literally killed the other four Rangers. You only I don't know. One. Yeah, I was actually gonna say. I was wondering if there was gonna be significance to that later. Like, why is it that the yellow one was Latin? It wasn't. It and, was and, just and, and, I'm, and I'm wondering if that was supposed to be someone we should know. Maybe. It didn't look like anyone. It looked like someone out of fucking. Demetria. Demetria. <laughs> <laughs> fucking who knows? Good man. Okay, so it would have been Demetria. Who else would there have been? Um, uh, Dulcia. Dul <laughs> Dulcia. Yeah, Dulcia. Dex. No, not Dex. Yeah, who's, his who's his grandfather? Oh, uh, oh, I don't remember his name. Uh, wait, grandfather, who's? Uh, Dex's grandfather. Oh, um, the whatever. King of Edenoi, whatever. Yeah, King of Edenoi. I'll put it in the comment. Or... There we go. <laughs> no! No! no. <laughs> but anyways... Just let her go before you're gonna turn into a beast. Oh, Christ. <laughs> So anyway, I, I love the Lair. We see Zordon in his original body, which yeah. was cool, and it looked a little bit like the one from the movie, the first movie. And oh, yeah. he was halfway between that and Doctor Manhattan. Right. And they were speaking like this kind of generic, like kind alien, of cool alien language, language. Yeah. of the, the the random English word. Da -da 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 English. I, I, I just from Zola Palace. I, that's what it was. <laughs> Citizen on a general scales! It was oh. weird though because like they would do the pronunciations which was like the Rita. That's what I mean. That was the part yeah. like that just like went, oh, okay, really? Like Unka Schnindo Rita. That's a fucking English name. So wait, wait, wait. Wow. Wait, 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 hold on. He didn't even do the inflection. It was like a different voice was talking. Yeah. Do you know what it reminded me of, honestly? That scene from Wayne's World 2, where he's yeah. speaking Chinese to uh, to James Hong. One shot scene for Jeff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it sounded like. <laughs> but if you are going to kill me, at least speak English for the rest of the movie. Very well. well. But yeah, Zordon had his own character arc. He did, where he wanted to come back to life. So he could de Was he dead? He, I, I guess it's more, it wasn't necessarily I mean, come back to life. Was it was his body. That was the word to you. No, I know, no. but it was more about respawning his, his body. body. It, was a, it was a Crim Stein belt kind of thing. No. Yes, no, no, that's no. exactly what happened. He died, and then he got his consciousness uploaded into the computer. I have yes. to say, I Gar, go ahead. That or Crim. Okay, you squandered it. Ah, Rangers! When are you going to give me a new party? Yes, Shredder, I'll cover the door for you. <laughs> uh, I did love uh, freaking <laughs> Zordon's plan to defeat Rita. It's like, end all, be all. Where he's like, Alpha, fly the plane into the planet. <laughs> Literally, Zordon summoned the meteor that killed the dinosaurs! That, yeah, that's what they're implying. Wait, thanks, Dick. Alpha killed the dinosaurs! <laughs> wow! The dinosaurs, me! Me! Alpha is the greatest oh warrior God. of all that, time. That would have been the greatest thing ever. So wait, this command center has all the knowledge of Earth. Correct. Okay. Um. Okay. Is it was it true that uh, posted shams are made of correct toad mucus? Okay. Uh, what really killed the dinosaurs? Me. Uh, guilty. Confir confirmed. Alpha is Sephiroth. So that kickstarts our plot where, yeah, like, I mean, actually, the oh. crystals we, he put away, right? Just like, he, because he, he gathered them all. The, the coins. coins. The coins. The coins. Yeah. He, he literally had them in his hand and just, like, shoved them in a pile. Go ahead, Dark. I'll give these to Ninjor. Yeah. <laughs> Ninjor was the original Blue Ranger. Go ahead, Dark. Maybe. Go ahead. In the past, though, he just called them Alpha. 
but in modern day, he calls himself Alpha 5. I feel like... I'm going to say time is of the eff- yeah. essence. I don't have time. Also, Alpha so was an alpha. anagram for something. He said yeah, that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he did. Not an anagram. An, or, or acronym. Acronym. Thank you. It's, like, it's like TARDIS. Yeah. Like that. But I forgot what it was, but... Okay. Auto- but it was automatic, like, automatic. Something, uh, something, Android. Android. Whatever, whatever. Arc 5. Hence Alpha 5. Yeah. Whatever. So yeah, that kicks our this the plot, and the whole thing is Billy, whose dad, and they actually I like how they established this. They didn't just go out one day, hey, look who we found. Yeah, they actually yeah, gave a reason for him to be at the mine. Too. Yeah, like so, like the, Billy's whole thing is like he used to always have fun going with his dad to the mine, which way to go, dad. Like all yeah, the real safe dad should have been under Black I don't think they explain. Oh I don't think they explain what happened to his dad. If you like mining accident, died. mining accident, right? probably he died. Probably, died. probably the same thing that happened to Katniss's dad. I just realized something. This is a this is a, some this is a thing that has Brian Cranston like from Breaking Bad, right? And and Billy is into minerals. Also, his name is Brian and Crystal. Oh, oh, oh. No, the blue sky. I just love the joke that I made during our last reaction video. The the plot was secretly for Hal to get the Rangers to save him from Lois. She is pure evil. <laughs> save me from your mother. <laughs> That man can do no wrong, <laughs> except why him. Uh, and I think so, I think also with Brian Cranston in it, it was like as soon as as soon as they uh, said that like uh, what Billy's name is like Billy Cranston, I'm like yeah they went there. Oh, well, that, that was, was his name in the show. Yeah, that was entirely on purpose. If you don't yeah. know, Brian Cranston and Ham Saban were like friends back in the day or something, and so they yeah. named Billy Cranston after him. Because no one knew that Brian Cranston was going to be as big as he was, obviously. Also, he voiced some monsters. He, he voiced Snizzard yeah. and Twin Man. Actually, there's this really good interview you should check out with him on uh, on with Colbert, where he mentions like because he was only in his tw- he was like our age when he did this apparently, or like in the early- look where he is now. Exactly, and he said <laughs> the like, how he always had <laughs> there it is. He always had a sort of sorry, a deep voice. Sorry, Brian Cranston. Right? We love you. So, we love like, you. he was good for monsters. That's why they used him. Your sword arm was really. Him. We'll put the interview like- in the link. I he liked was his Zordon. Ahead, but um, no wait, never mind. Zordon was ahead of his time. Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> that's what I meant. I'm so sorry, no, I'm not. I liked how Zordon wasn't like into the idea of them being the Rangers. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> These are children. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're teenagers. So between infancy and full maturity. Alpha, just like take him. take them to the pit. <laughs> to the shiva. <laughs> the pit. Just see corpses. There were two <laughs> pits in this. There were two pits in this movie. And one quarry. It was a quarry. Yeah, oh my god! Quarry. It all started with a quarry! Oh god! And what are you doing up there? When Rita summoned Goldar, they were in a quarry. Mm-hmm. They were even construction vehicles. Um, but yeah, no, Alpha was a lot of fun. Alpha. And I really, really got used to his design. I liked his design. Yeah. I liked how he, like, he blinked. Morphed. His eyes blinked. I was like, yeah. His eyes blinked. I mean, this was like almost a cartoon sound effect where his eyes blinked and went, what? Here's the thing. I, I've i sort of gotten used to the design. I like the effect they did with the eyes, where they were like, they looked like they were miniature galaxies and when they blinked. His brain, too. Yeah. Well, and yeah, yeah. I, you know what? The, the movie version of it is actually a lot, I'm, I'm a lot more okay with it than I am after seeing what I did before. Like I said, it's better in motion when it's on their screen for a while. Yeah, but yeah, I like the Zordon, like, was like, yes, yeah, so you guys will be the Power Rangers, and I was like, yeah, Power Rangers! Is yeah. that cool? Yeah, cool or what? I think one of the other things I like about Alpha is uh, where he, where in the original, like he didn't really ever do much that I remember. This time it was like, if he wanted somebody, he was like, you back hey, here. Come here for a sec. You like drag them around, yeah. just fucking. Yeah, just like just stretchy arm. Stretchy arm. Alpha. Yeah, come here. I always yeah, wonder, yeah. like Alpha was handsy in this. <laughs> like it's like that joke that Link Car made in his History of Power Rangers movie, like during the Wild Force review. Where he talks about like how oh, what was her name the Yellow Ranger in that one uh, Taylor. Taylor Taylor how she just punched him and drafted him right and then he cuts you wow imagine if Zordon recruited this way <laughs> you five will become a will become a special team of super powered humans and if you don't Alpha will kick your ass until you do <laughs> that's what happened here also yeah, also we got really also we got two IAIs out of them but it, they were they were well executed I, 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 they were they were very much in context yeah, and not random if you didn't random. know that that was a reference you wouldn't but one was really phoned in. One one what? Well, like the second one, because Bill Hader was like, I, I, I. It's like, no, but the other one, the first one was really. I, I, no, I, I would argue they were both within context. They were both at moments where he was like frustrated or annoyed. Let's talk about the plot. Oh, 
you know, the <laughs> first thing that we should. Talk about the plot. <laughs> oh, you mean that the zero crystal's hidden underneath the Krispy Kreme? Yeah. Yeah. Which, no, no, you know what? No, which show has been called Ernie's Krispy Kreme? Agreed. Should have run by a guy named Ernie. Is, no, at but the end, I don't think Krispy Kreme. Like, stop saying Krispy Kreme. No, but I, I honestly, <laughs> I, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was no, really, I was really okay with that because, um, because it felt like it would be like something in an actual old Power Rangers episode. It's like, oh, Rita's secret machine that she's working on, it's underneath the McDonald's. Sure. Conveniently, because no one will check there. She's stealing all the Happy like, Meals. Re remember, Cell, one of the Power Rangers was baked into a giant pizza. Yeah. Uh, actually, the whole team was. Yeah, Yeah, in like the worst season. <laughs> okay, so just just thinking about something. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing Angel Girl was supposed to be like, uh, in the states or something? Cause yeah, it was like a small town in California. Well, it was yeah, clearly so in Vancouver. Like... <laughs> well, they did film it. It was literally, it was literally fucking Vancouver. So, like, if you want to, if you want to like get like American, of course they had Krispy Kreme, but if they wanted to like really like go one thousand percent on it. They could have like had it at like a Dunkin' Donuts or something. I, I did like how they decided to explain why this is happening in Angel Grove because like, like, that's where the fucking thing landed. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, which is way more explanation than the original series ever got. Oh my god! Yeah, imagine, imagine <laughs> Rita was Rita's kidding. just like, I'm sitting up here on the moon, fuck this one town in particular! <laughs> yeah, that's like true. Some little town Let's go to Brazil! <laughs> <laughs> hey, the Power Rangers are there. I'm just gonna go to Brazil. This is just after five. Why don't the monsters ever attack somewhere outside from Tokyo? Cut to the villain looking at travel costs to Brazil. That's it. Yeah, no! <laughs> okay, this, this leads though to my favorite slash worst least, sorry, favorite scene in the movie, just because of how it was done, right? Where, like, okay, so the, here's the thing. The plot is this, right? Rita wants the Zeo Crystal. The Zeo Crystal will give her the life, the ability to destroy and create planets. To get the Zeo Crystal, she is going to construct Goldar out of gold so he can bear, he can dig to get the crystal. Okay, did you see how fast I did that? Yeah, that's how fast they did it in the movie. Like, Zordon just barreled through that exposition like it, he was a goddamn freight train. It was amazing. There was a train. There was a train in the Yeah, show. that was Tokyo's your game for uh, revenge for nothing. <laughs> which promptly slammed into them yeah, and they should have died. Which wow. train? You mean the one that fucking killed all of them? The power protection. I actually, yeah, the power protection. Yeah, that was it. That was it. That was that's, it. That's, that's what it the was. The coins fucking saved their asses and ported them home. There were two them. instances, that being one of them, and another one later, they where they're just train. somewhere and then just everyone wakes up in the room. Yeah. That happened twice! No, and I loved when, like, Kimberly, like, realizes her strength, like, she accidentally, like, crushes her own because she gets a text from one of the girls or whatever, and you just see, like, and Oh, she, shit, I broke just... my phone! Oh, oh, shit, I broke my phone! Better crush it some more! <laughs> just, yeah, excuse just... me, why, what, oh, oh, go, oh, wow, shit, oh, <laughs> oh, oh dear. fuck! And then okay, there's me really with the dirty mind. Oh, gee. Yeah. No, that yeah, you don't want that to happen to you. You're gonna rip your dick off. <laughs> yeah, like Jason goes to like Jason goes to like throw up, and he's like trying to hold onto the sink, but he breaks some piece of it off. And, like, and no one ever brought it up. What was this amazing Spider-Man? That scene oh. was very. Spider -Man. I, like, I liked when they were in the cafeteria and they put their power points on like the and it boils thing, everything and it, like boils the cans explode and that the was really cool. Melted fact, and I like that. Mac and cheese exploded in people. No, That's not right. the mac and cheese. It's like, no! It's okay, I had mac and cheese wedges before the show. Oh, okay, it's all better now. Super good. I, saved, I saved them. So yeah, that that was... I have to say, actually, that was probably where the movie kind of suffered the most to me. Where anytime, and I hate saying this, anytime it felt like it was trying to be Power Rangers. Do you get what I mean? No. Yeah. Well, like, the thing is, I would argue that was the least Power Rangers thing because the Power Rangers not, never had civilian powers. Not, not that, not that. Oh, what? I'm talking about, like, any time, like, there was, like... They were actually they were, at the high school? No, 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 no. I mean, like, any time, like, they were, like, trying to, like, talk Power Ranger stuff. Like, oh. in the way, like, like I said, when Zordon was like, she will summon the Goldar. And you're just like, oh, what? What is this? Is Goldar Here, something that happened here's, in the past? Here's, a, here's one thing that bugged me. They talked about... When they first, when Zordon first says, yeah, you, you are the Power Rangers, like, the way they responded to that kind of gave off the idea that they, they had that any idea what that was. Not they really, in no, my opinion. I, they, they probably they, they, like, they, 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 like, he said it, and the situation they were in right now, they were just like, uh-huh. Yeah. But Zach literally says, so you're telling us that we're Power Rangers. Yes. yes. Okay, uh, I immediately understand what that means. No, no, that wasn't it. He 
just stopped caring. It was just. I, I think. Kind of say, so you're, so you're yeah. saying we're Power Rangers? You know what? Yes. I'm gonna listen to the. You know what? Panel. I'm gonna stop because I already. I already have no idea, so I'm good. No, uh, no, 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 no. I also I'm like good, that I'm it was. Good. I like that it was explicitly said that there were many Power Ranger teams before oh, them. No. Well, oh. I was gonna say Sequels. something. The other, the other thing. I, Prequels. The other thing I liked about it is, I think the other reason why they were so keen to um, be a lot faster to accept things uh, for the most part is because they live in a small town that no one gives a rat's ass about. So it's like when you have a small town, no one, you've been like in the same place forever, nothing exciting happens, and all of a sudden this guy's like this headless floating thing is like saying you're Power Rangers, you're gonna be like, yeah, sure. Sure. It's like also, also, speaking. also, Billy brought it up. But that little display in the center of the room was kind of flashing images of stuff, and Billy's like, "Oh, okay, I think I can figure this out." He like now. immediately, like he stared at this weird amorphous mass, and immediately went, "That's the history of the Power Rangers." Yeah, really? because that's amazing. amazing. That's what I would do because literally, no, the five it's Rangers, not. <laughs> because literally, the five Rangers were being projected in it, followed by the Zeo Chris. Oh my god! Followed I, by a few I, other but things. But the thing that was a missing, the that, there's a missing scene actually, where they could have given like Zordon some pathos there. Where like he's like looking down at like you know his past friends and just like they're all like, you, can, you can even have like Jason come in like and if you really want to drop the references and like you know the fangasms you go who who so who were they this was uh, this was Oracle this was uh, this was uh, oh the alien team yeah like this like this all was these were my friends you know no it's like so these coins will let us go anywhere in the ship yep okay. See ya. Bye. Bye. That reminds me. You know what? Was it? Kevin Lee. You know what? You know what wasn't in the movie? I teleporting. And yeah, that. But, no. Wait, teleporting existed in the show specifically so they didn't have to like you know film a shot of them going somewhere. Yeah. That was just, there was nowhere for them to go. They were either on the cliff or in the city. That's what I mean. Yeah. They also didn't have an actual morphing sequence. That's what. That's the next thing I was gonna bring up. That I think yeah, was the biggest awesome. missed opportunity. They did. I know why. I know why. It would have been silly. It would have been cheesy and it would have been silly. But I think that like, can we just have that? That's no, like the no, point. No, no, Ichi. <laughs> Ichi. The forming of their armor. That was it. I know, but it was terrible. Guys, I like that scene. Guys, that was pretty cool. Sequel. They're gonna turn on the TV. People are gonna be making fun of them. They're gonna do the actual morphing sequence, and they're gonna be like. Let's well, turn TV the, one, the one thing I like about the Morphin uh, thing is where instead of they have to do like the whole uh, the hand gesture thing. The, pose. the one the thing I I like is um like they had to like um, clear our minds. So it's like it's a whole thing is like the powers within you has always been in you type of thing. They kind of went that road. Oh, that's cool bullshit! Oh. Always been in you. I just thought of something. Mm -hmm. Did they ever say what ha say what happened to the coins? Because they just kind of leave. They, I think it's implied when Jason put his sword back in that they left their powers there, and if they are needed, they'll get them back. No, no but I mean the I physical he, coins. After they did. get into the base and everything, are they just like, where are they? They have they're, them on. They're in the morphers. Because, 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 no, yeah. point. because remember, morphers. when Jason left it in his room, went to the washer. Yeah, they, no, they uh, follow them. So I understand Jason, it follows them, but like they just sort of just hand in their pocket. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. yeah sure. Right. pocket of the damn. So they're not goddamn pocket monsters. Cool so, oh god. Um, uh, so, quick, quick mention. Some of the references they made were amazing, particularly the streets. Uh -huh. I, I'm at the corner of Mariner Bay and Reefside. It was like <gasps> cities from Lightspeed Rescue and Dino Thunder. I was gonna say, hey. you know what's funny? The actor who played that guy, uh, Jason's dad, the guy from the office. David you know, yeah, he was just like reading a line there, and I bet at the premiere he heard a bunch of people go, "Yay!" And he was like, "What the hell?" <laughs> you, know, you know what's funny about him? He kind of looked like Austin St. John. A little bit. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, you know um, why? So in, that is Austin St. John. <laughs> so in, term, in terms of like the actual suits, I fucking love the suits. suits looked, like I said, they, the suits great. looked a lot better in motion oh, than yeah. they ever did. <laughs> and I loved, I loved that like when they're in the resorts or whatever, like they had their like masks off or whatever. Because like, not just to a but it's also, it's easier to see. It would have been. <laughs> it is. Yeah, again, I always thought the idea of like the crystal is a, it's like living crystal, like, and it makes sense. You know, this is based off the Zeo crystal now that they're going that. Uh, so that, I think that's a neat idea. This is franchise building. We got a franchise. We got a franchise, kids. Yeah. And even Rita with the line, there will be more, and only this Zord won't. All right. Oh, and, and you this won't, thing last. won't last. And it's like, really? Haha. Uh -huh. Did, did you serious? It's like, did you seriously just cram? 
like a franchise. Sequel bait? Yeah, sequel play. Others will come! Good, I hope there's a fucking sequel. You know what I was really and like, again, just uh, before, we, before we keep going on other things, back to the suits and everything, I, I still don't 100% like the suits. I agree that they look better in motion, but anyone who's been following Cast Ranger knows I didn't like the suits. I don't like the fact that they were unmasked in the Zords. I understand why, and I agree with the idea. I just don't think it looks good. Yes, wish that there was more time with them in the suit. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. I can, I can they were barely that. actually Rangers. Yeah. Like, actually, that's gonna. That is. That is a, a bit of a problem. That is, that, that is kind of the crux of the movie. They really weren't in suit very much. I, I feel like because this was the establishing movie and the uh, and the sequels to come, and they yeah. want to do six of them. We're gonna get much more range. Absolutely. I think again, one of the, the biggest way. problems of this movie, and also uh, it kind of shows how there's a is strength in this movie. Again, I like the characters in this. I really did. But like, good God, there were, we were like an hour in before our first action beat. Like that's a long time to just sit there and listen it, to. It, it really, sh it really shows how they had the long term in mind. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. They got a thing franchise. How these long days. is this? Two, two hours. hours. Over two hours. I lost track of time. Uh, well, that's counting the credits and such. But, but yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, speaking of which, spoilers. No yeah, there's no app. Much like Logan, there's no after credits. There's scene. a mid credit scene. There's, there's not a, a mid. There, not there, a post. There, there's there's the cinematic credits. Then there's the after credit scene, and then there's just the rest of the credits and nothing yeah, else. Basically, I want to talk about the mid credit scene, and where it's like, oh yeah, we got a new student. His name's Tommy Oliver. Mm. Tommy oh. Oliver. Nowhere Tommy to Oliver. be seen, and it's like. You just an empty desk with a green jacket on. That's what I noticed. It was a green jacket. Yeah. Yep. So he's so. gonna be a, the green ranger. Not the white ranger. Well, too bad. I did uh, like the joke they made. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say third, maybe fourth movie. Yeah. He'll be like an, an entire. You know what I think they'll do? They might just make him an entirely different ranger. I hope he gets yeah. Sama. That would be, be cool if we had green well, and white well, together. It'd be fun. It was funny yeah. because when I was waiting in line to get into the movie, uh, some guys like. Oh, I don't see the green or white ranger. I just turned to him. It's called sequel bait. Yeah. Did he did, did he then were, drop kick you as were, I would have? Were they actual Power Ranger fans or were they casuals? No, they're the people that I Filthy like to casuals. call. No, they're the people that I like to call. I only watch Mighty Morphin. I didn't really pay attention to it. But yeah, I'm a Power Rangers fan, aka the Cash. Yeah. Which this is what this movie's gonna do. It's gonna make everybody be like, oh, I was a Power Ranger. Hey guys, fan. we're officially Power Ranger hipsters. Yeah. Um, so, I think the Zords were alive. Uh, yeah, they kind yeah. of implied like that. When Zack when Zach was riding it, like, without the suit, like, he didn't connect with it, so kind of the Zord kind of went ballistic. Here's the thing, over it. I, I know that they were sentient and alive because the first shot we get of them, you see them moving. On their own. Yep. Ooh. And it's impl it's said that, like, yeah, they are, like, again, kind of like it's like the living crystal machine, like, working with them, and, and then, you know, Let's pissed the movie. The, the, mo <laughs> the movie pissed me off. Because oh they they uh, came forth from the uh, the most powerful creatures at the time the dinosaurs two of them are dinosaurs. <laughs> also most powerful most powerful creatures look what happened to dinosaurs. They that's died. Like, that's, that's just how powerful. Yeah yeah uh, yeah. But yeah, 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 yeah the zords were yeah, made yeah, before they, the they, meteor. Yeah, number one, they were made before the meteor hit, so dinosaurs were the more, most powerful thing at the time. Number so two, what? What killed the dinosaurs? Alpha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So they show he, giant he alpha them to his will. Alpha megazords. <laughs> by by this logic, the next zord will be a living meteor. Yes. <laughs> Unicorn. Red battle zord. Well, here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. And again, this is just I, again like I understand like they weren't gonna do anything else with this. Whatever. Like we're just like so. Wait. Okay. Look. I can buy that. Okay. Most powerful creatures at the time. Fine. Whatever. So what? Did, did, did the, the yellow and black one wait 65 million years? They, they weren't terraformed. Because that's where the man, the mastodons and saber-tooth tigers came from. <laughs> they, they came later with other rangers that died. God damn it. Di died, died in impact. Now, the biggest... The biggest speaking, of, sorry, speaking of the Zords, you know what they didn't explain? Why the Mastodon and Triceratops had extra yeah, legs? That was a thing. You know what? I like to think my, my argument, kind of argument to that is... It's a giant mechanical vehicle. It needs extra legs to have like traction, so it can like stand and not. Except when, or, except when, the it, other ones except that. when they were the Megazords, only the heads made, made the actual okay. feet. The okay. rest of the okay. where the legs were, were the back okay. of the okay. leg. Okay. Okay. okay, okay, The Mastodon and the Triceratops were were a bit lower. They were a bit thicker. Oh, you made them heavier. Heavier. Tanks. heavier. Yeah, yeah, there were tanks, and with tanks, you had right. a lot of. Wait, right. I'm not. I'm not saying there's no. Pro I like that idea. Yeah. Here's what you do. Yes. 
or at least show us that they were using their legs for traction. Easiest thing to have done. Heard. Alpha could have explained to them, oh, well, actually, they were animals from our planet originally, but then we had to adapt them, so they're kind of in between. I yeah. That they were gonna Say be that! Kids. It was a mix of the and Earth DNA and alien technology. And that would explain why, in the next movie, we're going back to what they originally were. What are they? Well, you people call them, uh, like, dragons and griffins and stuff. Ah. So toy sales can go from the roof. Alpha watched Godzilla and thought it would be cool. Also, it was amazing how Power <laughs> Rangers pretty much kind of said fuck you to Michael Bay Transformers. Yes, yeah, that was fun. Yeah, remember that bit we did at the start? That was in the movie. Yeah, the T-Rex Zord, like, literally threw a fucking Camaro yeah, at, like, like okay, at first, I was, like, at first I was thinking, like, okay, that's clearly the Bumblebee Camaro and there. And Jason they Fly. said it. Yeah, Jason Jason Fly, said also, it. I don't think it was actually him, but good God, the driver of that car looked exactly like Michael Bay. I'm sure that was intentional. Oh, that's awesome. Like, he had I the didn't, blonde... I didn't he, had the, that. he had the blonde hair and, like, the button shirt, which that's is kind of his thing. amazing. But yeah, just, sorry, Michael Bay! <laughs> or, sorry, Bumblebee! <laughs> 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 which, which, which begs the question, though. So, apparently, the Transformers movies exist in this universe, right? Hmm. Well, here's the funny thing. Michael Bay produced Project Almanac, pro directed by Dean Israelite. <laughs> Does that mean? Megazord versus Transformers. Oh my god. I can see that. I, we all would. I mean, I'll, I'll admit. Just I, like, will Michael Bay fire back in last night? Before the movie, we saw a trailer uh, for the new Transformers movie. I'm kind of excited for it. Uh, you should see the new trailer. It's shit. Like okay. the movie. I just love that yeah, we were, we were in the theater. I'm still going to see it, but... I just, love, shit. I just love how when we were in the theater watching the trailer for Transformers, some guy in the front row was just like, oh, I know what that is! Yeah. Um, <laughs> that guy, I was so worried about. Uh, I movie. was so worried. I thought he was going to be like, these are great, by the way. Yeah. We'll add them in the videos. Yeah. No, 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 that's not what I was... Yeah. They're amazing, though. Look at these. Oh, oh, oh my look at Lorena eating so, fucking so, so we were making strange. jokes about Goldar and how he's being made of gold, so we were like, what other monsters could they make? You know, maybe lead, like, you know, pencils. So we have Pencilar! <laughs> no, no, that's, no, no, it's, it's not, that's not why I said my, I passed it. My ultimate favorite one here, though, like, again, you gotta put, can we oh, please put these on the video? Yeah, it doesn't they're matter, good. like, they're, they are good, really though. Good. They are good, though, and they're funny. This is the best one. Where you see, I, is that supposed? That's Jason, right? It's supposed okay, to be it's Jason. it's Jason, and he's all angsty and moody. And he's talking to Zordon Wall, and Zordon Wall says, "You lose. Good day, sir." <laughs> <laughs> this is Jason's going away. Jason, my okay. boy. Uh, we, we, we need we need to wrap up because. No, no, it's not. I, I can just cut out and then we can. Those no, wacky no, like, like, we all. all right. Shit I want to talk about a couple of the, the, the cons in the movie because this wasn't a perfect film. One, what the hell was up with the Megazord? Came out of nowhere. It no, was, no, it was the powered Zeo by the Zeo Crystal. Now, fine with that. So I was expecting that. When it dropped into the pit, I was like, okay, so the Zeo Crystal is like going to give them its power and they'll fuse it to the Megazord. Yep. Because Rita was obviously fucking surprised about yeah, that. Yeah, the Megazord, and you just see the look of her face like, like, oh, I, what? So this was the first time the Megazord ever came. Yeah, I'm, like, yeah, yeah, no. I'm, I'm kind of okay with that, because like, we were all joking about, like, oh, the ancient Megazord, but the transformation hasn't been attempted in 65 million years. Also, it was actually an original creation for that process. The it was great. fucking teamwork they had in that Megazord. Zord. Like, they each operate a fucking no. limb. I love the realistic great. as fuck moment where they built it the first time and then they went to take a step and it immediately <laughs> falls <laughs> yeah, No, that was funny. <laughs> that was so oh, funny. Because they couldn't figure out how to pilot it. I, I feel like they like took the joke from Turbo and just I, went with it. It's like, wait, shit, hold on. Uh, how do we do this? Uh, back right. up. Uh, also, okay, Billy, just put your foot there they, they and... Went, well, as we knew, as we learned from the toy, they were not in a unified cockpit. They were each in a corner of the yeah. sword. Yeah. Um, also, I, lo I loved when Billy was like, Oh, I wish I was an arm so I could punch. And I'm like, it Probably kicks it. My, my, my immediate part of kicks. My, 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 immediate, <laughs> my immediate response was, Me too, Billy. Me too. Wait, wait, I think I know why. I think that was an Easter egg to the Ninja Megazord. Because he, because the blue. He was, he was the arm. Yeah. Now, here's my question again, though. I feel like they'll bring well, that up. Because they never show this, right? And to be fair, this was not something they ever showed in the show either, but you don't need to. It was always sort of assumed. Okay, like, is it gonna split up now? Because, like, it kind of looked like it was fused. 
by the crystal and like the intense heat. I, like remember that part where like Goldar was like literally like crushing it all together. Like bent the pterodactyl's wings and I was like, oh shit. Wait, yeah. since we're since we're talking about the cons, like things that we didn't really like when you're talking about Rita and like. You know, she's searching for this, like, power crystal. Jump scares! Jump scares! It's like, it yeah, could be anywhere, and it's like, they, she finds out from Billy, who good. you would think would be the least girl. person, last person to, like, know anything. No, then, he, he was very... He was the smart one, he figured it out. Let me, he was let me continue. Yes. Yeah. Let me continue. So, it's like, she's she's asking him where it is, and he's just like, Christopher Cream, and she's like, Christopher Cream, it must be the most powerful... Places. Uh -huh. like, well, in America, yeah, kind of. But then it's like, <laughs> it goes through all this journey of her trying to find it. She finally finds Christopher Cream, doesn't find a crystal, and she just sits and stares at a donut. It's like, I'm kind of like, lady? She ate it. When she takes the donut. Yeah, but you don't even see her eat it. She just stares she at it. She's, like, like, she's, like, she's, 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 she's eating like, it while Goldar is punching holes in I thought that was cute. That and was I, funny. I'll, I'll like admit, that. like, yeah, like, I'm not a fan of, like, Advertising that blatant in the movie. They said it way more times than they needed. But you to. know what? It'll never be worse than Man of Steel, so it's okay. <laughs> what happened to Man of Steel? Seven Eleven. No, no, I know. Nothing beats Eight Crazy Nights. Lots of things beat. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> although the whole Rita, like going to Christopher Cream and trying to uh, trying the Christopher Cream donut, kind of reminds me of. Oops. Sorry. Kind of reminds me of like Aven no. uh, Avengers when Thor is like you know going to try shawarma for the first first time. It's like this whole big. Someone's never been to planet Earth. Try something. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I did kind of get off that vibe. Yeah, but Danny, yeah. that's different, though, because... It's not a brand, yeah. Yeah, well, that, and, you know, Tony mentioned, I saw a shawarma place, you know, a few blocks back. That was it. it was and then with the after credit scene, you see them back. eating shawarma. It was a callback. Yeah. yeah. It's, I, I, it's completely two different things. Yeah. Um, also, the, the pink Zard uh, for the Mega Zard... Those weren't wings. Those were swords. Oh, were... That was amazing. <laughs> Two pink swords. I was actually wondering, like, okay, are they? Because like that was the thing they kind of toned down in this one was the mystical aspect of it all. They didn't summon the sword from the sky. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Really, like, like, tear off piece. Tear off stab. the wings. Stab. That part was a little anticlimactic. Like, oh, we're done. Okay. And yeah. then they literally slapped Rita, which was set up. And oh my God, everything I am not to just yell out in the theater. Looks like Rita's blasting off again! <laughs> and then where did she get slapped towards? The moon! No! We don't. No, okay, close she, to no, the moon. She flies by the moon. No, she didn't! There is literally thousands of miles still yeah. left between her and, and the moon! You see her floating into space, and you see the moon behind her, and you're like, oh god, because she just gonna get sent to the moon? And then the camera angle like pans out, and you see, no, no, she's just going the other direction. No, but like, she's gonna keep I going. don't know, they might not do that, I don't know what they're gonna do. Like, that could've just been they needed to get her and the moon in the same shot, but didn't want to, like, just go her crashing into it. And what I noticed is that she didn't have the staff and coin, which means it's still on Earth! Yeah, which yeah, means, so. which, no shit, after credit scene, Tommy. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy. Okay. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, any right. other cons before we wrap up? Uh, how the movie was a student pile of shit. <laughs> uh, there was no Mask Rider! I honestly, I honestly really had no... They were called problems. Masked Heroes! I honestly really had no problems with the movie. The movie? So. No, no, here, here. Here's my, here's my adult review. Okay. It's adult time. Can I just take your shirt? <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, God! Okay. Oh, actually, yeah, actually, oh, adult, oh, adult oh, reviews oh, with, no, with no, Sarah. No, no, this no, just no. got NSFW. No, actually, so that, new that, that was a terrible joke. <laughs> I quite enjoyed it. You guys are working now, let him. Yeah, he has a tattoo. I do have a tattoo. <laughs> I have some tattoo. It's the uh, Pink Thunderbird uh, tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> For real. No, uh, the whole thing is... <laughs> I'm doing this without a shirt. The whole thing about the movie was, again, I have to say, I was pleasantly surprised. I was not expecting it to be... It wasn't great, but it was good. It was serviceable. There were a few parts that just didn't go anywhere. Like, wait, what? what why? Oh, you, you will tell your friends and lead them into a trap. Oh, is she under mind control? No. Okay. She just... She just tried to appeal to her because she was... They just realized, her. oh shit, Elizabeth Banks doesn't have as many scenes in this movie. We need to give her another one. <laughs> There was there was a few like little plot holes. Every movie has plot holes. Yeah. But overall, again, and oh, and unfortunately, again, you want to see Power Rangers, you gotta wait about an hour and a half to see Power Rangers in your yeah. Power Ranger movie. Which I'm, which I will forgive because this, this is a franchise, is a franchise, franchise setup. setup. Yes. But again, I, the part that pl that surprised me the most was just how I, much I like these characters. Yeah. 
Like these, these were very likable kids. Yeah. And uh, you know, like, and kudos to them because usually what they try to do with these sort of things is, oh, we're gonna cast like all like the, the hot kids right now who's popular. I think the only big name of this group was like uh, the one who played Trini, like Becky G. Becky she's kind yeah. of she, she's a singer. Yeah, I don't know any of them. But, but, but that's like me. not like a big singer. She's just a the, singer. The, you, do you know why I think this movie worked though? Mm-hmm. Like deep down, these guys, these these ca- characters felt like real friends. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was yeah, that, the end of that, the day. Even with the difference between them. They were relatable. Them, I w- yeah. Exactly. I wasn't expecting to say this, but good God, the Rangers carried this. Mm-hmm. And even when they weren't Rangers. No, you know what really carried this? When the Zords showed up, they played the theme from the 95 movie. Yeah! yeah! Oh my God, what was with that? Could they not get Las- Lasserman's rights or something? <laughs> what was that? Yeah! That, I was even looking, like, in the credits, like, wait, yeah, Rasterman doesn't name, did Wa- not, Wasserman, whatever. His name did not show, I almost feel like, yeah, they couldn't get the rights from him, so they're like, look we'll, we'll at the movie theme from the <laughs> yeah. 90s. Um, but yeah, overall, I I would think, aside from a couple of missed opportunities, which are mostly forgivable, I think, I would call it mostly success. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This um, movie was a solid B+. Plus. I, I was thinking that. I, I really enjoyed this movie personally. Like I said, it's great that I there was a character in the movie that I could really, really relate to. It like means yeah. so much to me. And unquestionably, Probably. Billy was just overall best character anyway. Yeah, oh, he was my great. God. yeah, he was fucking perfect. And just I really love this movie. Honestly, I'm buying it on Blu-ray as soon as it comes out. I'm probably gonna go see it again in the theater. I'm I, saying, I I already have a set to go see it again. I know you guys don't like me doing like my out of ten ratings, but honestly, I'm giving it a solid nine out of ten. What? Yeah. <laughs> All, what I'm going to say for rating, I'm just going to say that anyone who is a fan of tokusatsu, Power Rangers, or just superhero movies in general, definitely a lot. Here's what I'm going to say. Ichi, you're absolutely right. They want to make a franchise. We all know this. It's 2017. You know Here's the thing. This movie has flaws. It has some hiccups. But it is likable enough. It's worth the view to see what they'll do if they can make some money. Yeah. Give this movie some money, so that way we can see what they're gonna do in the second movie. Watch them just destroy it. <laughs> <laughs> it no, really- it's gonna be Transformers all over again. First one was good. Shit, shit, so shit. So what you're shit. saying <laughs> is in the second one, we're gonna see the Megazord's balls. Oh, no! It's going to wrap. Okay, I'm hoping it's not going to be... It danced! What, 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 yeah. The Megasaur danced! Yeah, it did. It's amazing. I loved it. If I can, if I can say something, I'm hoping yep. it's not going to be like the Transformers thing, but if, if we're doing like uh, rating and everything, like they said from the beginning, this is kind of a, a remake, but I've seen remakes before where it's like they just take something awesome and make it shit. Of course, But like, I don't... Yeah. When, when I went into this, I thought it was gonna, just going to be another like remake, almost like... Um, um, 2017 version of the original, but like I wouldn't call this a remake. I would call this an original in itself. It felt more like an original, separate, same character names, but it, barely, so it didn't even feel like a reboot that much. So, it, so, I so thought it felt original, so I was like, if I if I had to like kind of you know say how I'd rate it, um, I would I would actually like for once in my life I I take it as like far as like an A like an A minus. Like, need a little, little, little bit to get it to the A plus, but like. Wait, if your parents were Asian, they would accept it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm surprised. They <laughs> wow. Uh-huh. Gar, though, what you were saying though, last joke, last joke. So what you're saying is, if this takes the place of the Power, like Power Rangers movies, will take the uh, same path as the Transformers movies. So what you're saying is, in the fifth movie, we're gonna see Jason hold a sword to Trini's neck. Sorry. Yeah, that trailer. I was like, why is that the scene? Because he's evil. As long as, as, long as Shia yeah, LaBeouf right. doesn't um, become a ranger. Joe, the Quintessons. I don't know. Shia LaBeouf oh, is Tommy. Is Lord Zed. <laughs> Do Actual it. cannibal Shia LaBeouf. Actual cannibal. Just. Do it! Lightly bolts in. <laughs> okay. Resounding success on the most part. Excellent work, Lions. Great job. Me. Oh, thank God it wasn't shit. It was that. Full of exactly. And, and their the character relationships, and even though it felt like a different thing, the, the even though the names are the same, it was just like a to be as good as it was, and I'm really happy. I, would, I was, I can honestly say. That's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. It's like it, it isn't. It isn't a re- remake or reboot. It's like uh, taking what they 
started with, with the original, and they're, make, they're making it something new and something. It really did feel it. like it's the next generation. Me. You're you're Ooh. basically taking the uh, original story and you're basically improving on it and adding new chapter new chapters. I have a perfect way to summarize this in a song. Oh no! Oh crap! Demon! Oh! Fighter of the Nightman! Oh! Master of Karate and friendship for everyone! You may be oh. of the sun, but sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, uh, sunny, oh, sunny the color oh. That was pretty much what we watched. Anyways, thank you for joining us for another Cast Ranger Reacts. Yay. This is a great movie, go fucking see it! Woo! Three years. Yay! <laughs> Yay! I, I, give, I give it two years. Blue <laughs> Ranger. Yeah. <laughs> Billy's the best character. Okay. Bye. Peace out. Alright, um... Do you want to drive that way? I can drive yeah, it. Sure. Oh, I've already got a drive. Well, you say you're going to give me a ride. Yeah, oh yeah, I got a ride here. Okay.